So I pay attention to memes. I pay attention to the ones that are profound to me. I have one on my phone as the screensaver that says, or the lock screen, it's called the lock screen. It says, respond intelligently even to unintelligent treatment. The Reverend Peter Spencer Way, this is beautiful. This is history. This is amazing. French Street in front of the Caravelle State Building and the City County Building. Well, the street that those buildings are on is now Peter Spencer Way. This is history. Y'all know I'm a historian or an art historian. I love art story. This is amazing statues, amazing. People responsible for this are the people that fought for this, the people that had the mind and the heart, the vision. People of Mother African Church, not the politicians, not Hanifa Shabazz, not Mayor Przicki, not Namdi Chikwocha. These are the people that are elected officials that are supposed to represent us that just simply don't. There's people that are sitting on the ground waiting for buses for hours on end instead of sitting on benches at Rodney Square right now because wealthy real estate developers and lawyers and chemists, lobbyists that don't feel comfortable with poor people, homeless people, black people. They don't feel comfortable with a large concentration of those people, people that look like me, people that are me in the middle of the city. In Rodney Square, what they consider to be a premier public place. So they were able to get the governor, John Carney, to force Dart, Delta, public transportation system to reroute the buses away from what they consider to be a premier public place because they don't consider us to be premier public people. So people were removed from Rodney Square and had to now use back streets, side streets. It's just like Jim Crow back in the day when whites were permitted at a restaurant. It was a whites only restaurant and colored people had to go to the side entrance or the side window, give their money, get their meal, whatever it was, whatever scraps they were given, and take them away. We couldn't be seen up front. We can't be seen up front at Rodney Square. And they have a license to do it. They have a license to get away with it because they've been elected, they're voted in. They're white, they're rich, Robert and Chris Buccini. The lawyers at Young Conway the lobbyists at Chamours, they've got a license to get away with it. They've got a license to have these secret meetings. White privilege is no difference. It's no different from a license to kill. It's the same exact thing. So they get away with disenfranchising people, with discriminating against people, with people being hurt, elderly people, handicapped people, having to walk blocks, physically can't do it. They're, they're in wheelchairs, some of them, on walkers, crutches, canes. They physically can't go the distance that they had to go now because of this move that was made by this small group of rich white men. And they get away with it because of their privilege, their license to kill. There's no difference between white privilege and a license to kill. And we feel like this is something that we can't do anything about. And I wanna make it known that there's black people and white people, brown people, yellow people, mostly people of color that are disenfranchised by these people in this decision. And a whole lot of black people won't do anything about it. It's a whole lot of black people that feel like they can't do anything about it. It's a whole lot of black people that feel like they've got a license to do it. They've been voted in. They're rich. They're white. They're in this power position. They're in this office. And they've been doing it for a long time. What are we going to do about it? I don't want to I don't want to sign that petition. I don't want to go to that march. I don't want to What else don't you want to do? 
I don't want to organize. I don't want to have meetings. I don't want to go on TV. I don't want to go on the radio. I don't want to do any of these things. There's nothing that I can do about this. They've got a license to do it. So they get away with it. They continue to get away with it over and over again. It doesn't get better. It just stays the same. Nothing changes. Nothing has changed. 1965, Civil Rights Act. They broke the law by what it was that they did to discriminate against poor people. It's classism. It's racism because it's mostly black people, like I said. It's ageism. It's ableism. Discrimination against the handicap. It's all these isms. And they get away with it because they've got a license to do it. They're not going to get away with it. We've got the six brought back. The six goes to UD, goes past the Veterans Affairs Clinic down on Kirkwood Highway. We got the 28 brought back. That's the Children's Hospital, AI Children's Hospital, AI DuPont. We got the two and the one. We've got these buses brought back, but they only leave from Rodney Square. They go outbound. They don't go inbound. So they don't come back to Rodney Square because they don't want a large group of people, a large concentration of poor people of color at Rodney Square. So they don't come back. We want these buses to come back. And we want the other buses that they removed back in December without our consideration, without us having a say in the in secret meetings, without us being considered. We want all the buses brought back and we marched down here on Wednesday with 2,500 signatures. When we first sat with the governor, we put 1,500 signatures in front of him and he still did what he wanted to do. We're not gonna allow it. We're gonna continue to march. We're gonna continue to protest. We're gonna continue to rally. We're gonna continue to petition. We're gonna continue to organize. We're gonna continue to speak out. We're gonna continue to write letters. We're gonna continue to have meetings. We're gonna continue to do everything that it is that we have to do to get this change made. We want a reversal. We want all these buses brought back to Rodney Square. That's it. No compromise. I don't care about, I don't care how you feel. Just like you didn't care how we felt.